Hello there everyone, this is 5 Minutes Medicine and today we are gonna talk about polycystic ovarian syndrome which is a complex condition associated with hormonal imbalance and is characterized by menstrual abnormalities, multiple cysts, etc. Glucose, as we learned, is caused by hormonal imbalance and is extremely common worldwide with around 25% of females experiencing it at some point of the reproductive age but most common group which is affected is 20s and 30s. Mostly PCOS is caused due to unknown or idiopathic reasons. Though genetics and family history play an important role as well. Insulin resistant diabetes mellitus and being obese are major causes which have been noted in majority of PCOS patients. So before learning PCOS, let's review the hypothalamus, pituitary, and ovarian axis, or HPO axis. Our hypothalamus maintains homeostasis in the body, which secretes GnRH or gonadotropin releasing hormone. This stimulates the pituitary gland, which helps in secretion of luteinizing hormone and follicular stimulating hormone. These activates the ovaries for ovulation and secretion of estrogen and progesterone. The function of FSH is to help in development of primary follicle into graphene follicle, whereas LH helps in ovulation and maintenance of corpus luteum. One more important point to note is that in normal condition, the ratio of LH to FSH is nearly around 1.5 is to 1. But what happens in PCOS is that because of reasons like diabetes mellitus type 2, the hypothalamus starts secreting GnRH in fast impulses. For example, this is how it should secrete the GnRH, but this is what happens to the secretion. Due to this abnormal increase in GnRH, the level of LH secretion rises up to 3 times, whereas FSH secretion remains the same or even drops in some cases. This results in distorting the normal FSH to LH ratio which is responsible for maturation of the follicles. And so, the maturation of follicles doesn't occur, ovulation doesn't happen, and in turn, the female hormone concentration decreases in blood. So now, let's view pictorially, due to a variety of reasons, like diabetes mellitus type 2, our hypothalamus secretes abnormally fast impulses of GnRH which results in increased LH and decreased FSH production, disturbing the normal LH to FSH ratio, which in turn results in no follicular maturation and no ovulation as well, causing symptoms which include hirsutism, infertility, multiple cysts, etc. Signs and symptoms of PCOS involves abnormal menstruation or absent menstruation, hair growth on abnormal parts of the body, acne and male-like characteristics, darkening of skin, infertility etc. are also some important presentations of PCOS. Primary diagnosis of PCOS is based on physical examination and history taking. Hormonal assay for elevated luteinizing hormone is an important test for conformational diagnosis which is often done along with ultrasound for checking ovarian cysts. Primary management of PCOS is based on restoring the hormonal imbalance by administrating oral contraceptive pills. Metformin can be used for controlling the blood insulin levels as elevated insulin can act as a trigger for fast impulse GnRH secretion. Surgical procedures like ovarian drilling though are less common but still can be used for controlling androgen secretion. And most importantly, the lifestyle changes. Try leading a healthy lifestyle with healthy eating habits. So that's it for today. If you liked the video and found it helpful as well as informative, please help the channel to grow by liking, sharing and subscribing it. Thank you. See you until next time.